What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Rafan, and today I'll be watching some more Doctor Who. That's right, series two I'm in, episode seven, called The Idiot's Lantern. Now then, if you want to see the full length reaction to this and pretty much everything else that I do, why do commentators talk like that? <laughs> Um, I guess it's exciting that way. That's why. But yeah, if you want to see the full interaction to this and pretty much everything else that I do, you can on Patreon. Also, if you want to see the next episode, and perhaps even the one after that, and even the one after that, because I do like to run Doctor Who a little ahead than my other shows. Other shows I normally keep like two episodes ahead. This one, one to two episodes. This one, I like to keep two to three ahead. Sometimes even four, because, you know, there's a lot of episodes. So I want to go get through them quickly. But yeah, thank you to all the patrons for supporting me all this time. YouTube members, subscribers, I really appreciate your support, man. So thank you so very much. Now then, let's jump into this episode with any further amount and do. Here we go. Some of you mentioned that uh, you weren't uh, the biggest fan of the romance between the doctor and uh, I forgot her name. The French lady, man. Madame de Pompidou. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I liked it. It was a pretty good episode. Pretty emotional. Very interesting. I didn't think it was bad at all. I like the mixing of genres like that, you know? Rita, I'm off out. Dad? Oh, how many times? Damn, this guy's got stars. I heard they rot your brains, rot them into soup, and your brain comes pouring out of your ears. That's what television does. That's true, you know. Ever since I've started watching all these shows, my brain has started pouring out as well. That kind of looked like something that I don't think it was meant to look like, but all right. <laughs> Not even going to mention it because, yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me, Magpie? Yes. The TV is talking to you. Your brain is pouring out. That, that, that old lady was right. Oh, by the way, for the Potterheads, one year anniversary coming soon. One year anniversary on my channel, that is when I did Harry Potter. And I became a fan of Harry Potter, so much so that, you know, I got the thing. And not only did I get the thing, it spins. Look. Look at that. So, you know, uh, I'm doing something special for that. It'll go on Patreon first, like everything else, but it'll be here soon. So, yeah, keep an eye pe keep your eyes peeled on the community tab for that. That's Jackie. I can wait to go. No. Okay. She's going for her mom's look. All right, cool. Hey, let's go. You're going my way, doll. Is there any other way to go, Daddy-o? <laughs> hey, you feel like you. So I don't really know Elvis, but I know, like, I know of him, but I haven't, like, there's this one song, like, in the ghetto. <laughs> I haven't heard the actual song, but I have heard the South Park version of it. Eric Cartman sings it, I believe. So yeah, I just, I've heard of like, you know, like they mentioned it just so like, I've, I know him like that, but that's about it. London in New York, man. <laughs> that's definitely not New York. That's the Union flag. Thank you for correcting me, by the way. I thought it was Union Jack, but it's not Union Jack. It's just the Union flag. I say stop it! She's awake. I thought those were dolls hanging from the wall. Wall from the ceiling. But that's the, you know, thing. I forgot the name. Coronation, of course. And what coronation is that then? What do you mean? The coronation. <laughs> for a second, I thought she was pregnant when she was holding the helmet. Queenie! Last time I looked. Look at all the TV area. Looks like everyone's got one. It's weird. My nan said Teddy's was okay. so rare they all had to pile into one else. Yeah, they definitely look like something they shouldn't look like. <laughs> Someone help me, please! Leave him alone as my husband! If the doctor's here, there are problems. <laughs> well, she missed the thing. Was she supposed to hit it? I think she tried to, but missed. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to look at the posters and stuff. See if I can spot like a bad wolf thing. They've kind of given up on bad wolf, haven't they? Surprised I didn't turn back and arrest you for reckless driving. Have you actually passed your test? <laughs> you <men> in black. 
What's this? Is Churchill's England, not Stalin's Russia? I believe Men in Black is a movie or something. Uh, because I've heard that name. Someone suggested. I believe it's a movie. Maybe it's a TV show. I'm not entirely sure, but want to, you know, something you guys want me to see, basically. Time is almost ripe, magpie. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Is this Elizabeth? Or ladies? Um, <laughs> okay. Or Queenie. I'm sorry, but I've got to come in. What do you think you're doing? We've got to try and help her, Dad. Give me that key. I said give me that key right now. This guy just sounds familiar, this kid, to me. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the accent. Hi! Who are you, then? The see you, then, judge by the look of you. Found a man, nice house, decent wage, fought in the war, therefore I represent Queen and Country. <laughs> there we are, Rita. I told you. Get them up, Queen and Country. I'm sorry. Get it done. Do it now. Hold on a minute. Got hands, Mr. Connolly? Two big hands. Yeah, I was gonna say, good. And that's a woman's job? Of course it is. Mr. Connolly, what gender is the Queen? She's a female. And are you suggesting the Queen does the housework? No. Something to ponder on? <laughs> right, yes, sir. You'll be proud of us, sir. We'll have Union Jacks left, right, and centre. Well, he just said Union Jacks. Maybe I remember it incorrectly. Yes, that's right, isn't it? That's the Union flag. There it is. Union Jack only when it's thrown at... There it is! Oh, I'm sorry. I I do apologise. Okay. Oh, don't get it wrong again. Thank you. He's a good man. I'll get to it. <laughs> uh, Rose. Lovely. How does she know that? Well, sit yourself down, Tommy. I gotta look up who this Tommy is. I think it might be that YouTuber. It's crazy, I know. Rory Jennings! Yo, I watch this football podcast. He's on that. Rory Jenny. This is it. Yo, it's a YouTuber. I told you I, I recognized that, that, that voice. I thought he looked like him too. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. People have changed. I was kind of worried because I'm like probably the accent and I'm just generalizing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Which is, you know. Come to the door and take them. Not British, so. It's all right, Gran. I've brought help. Yeah. I don't know if you guys watch it, but I think it's the True Jordy podcast or something. There's like a bunch of people on it, and Rory's one of them. Okay, that's what they meant. You talk about like football, Premier League, you know. Not just Premier League, it's all football, but you know. Complicated reasons why you should listen to me. One. <laughs> that's a pretty good reason. Oh, hell of a rival. Mmm. I think this is important. Whoa, what just happened? So that's how you probably knew, huh? Or maybe you just knew because you're intelligent about the Union Jack flag thingy. Get the hell out of my house! I'm going, I'm done. Nice to meet you, Tommy. Rory. <laughs> I'm so happy. And as for you, Mr. Connolly, only an idiot hangs the Union flag upside down. Shame on you. <laughs> I love it. I love the casualness of Rose and the new doctor. The older one was pretty cool too. But this new doctor is very casual, very free. Do you know what I mean? He just, he flows. Does that make sense? I don't know. And that's how Rose is too. You know what I mean? She's very casual. The little movements that she does, kind of cute, you know? <laughs> just turned it back on. <laughs> Lil, Lil Doctor, come on, start rapping, bro. Whoa, these are all those people with the, the faceless people. And it works as a torch. Is there anything this screwdriver cannot do? Well, <laughs> I can think of a few things. <laughs> uh oh, they're all turning towards them. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. I'm afraid you're too late. I was just about... It kind of looks like the Batman logo. Ordinary people are being struck down and changed, and the only new thing in the house is a television. No, I just finished watching Stranger Things, and it had these tilted, angled, whatever, camera shots as well. Now this is having it as well. Now it's freaking me out, because are these show shows communicating with each other? <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry. It is all part of the plan, eh? Good night, children. Start from the beginning, tell me everything you know. Well, for starters, I know you can't wrap your hand around your elbow and make your fingers meet. 
<laughs> you were there today at Florizel Street, and now... The window's broken, or is that tape on it? Make no mistake. Well, the thing is... Detective Inspector Bishop. How do you know my name? It's written inside your collar. Bless your mum. But... <laughs> doing nothing? Don't you want to get out there and investigate? Of course I do. Do you know what I mean? The expressions that he has. I don't even know where to start. We haven't the faintest clue what's going on. Well? You know, I saw that thing back there on the board. It's like this little shape. And at first I was like, that kind of looks like a ship. And then I was like, you know what? It looks more like those crystals from Avatar The Last Airbender from the cave where Katara is with Zuko. Is it Zuko? Or is it Boomy? I don't know, one of them. Find another one, sir. All right. There you go. Here we are, Doctor. It's Rose. See what you can deduce. She right. lost her face. No. I found her in the street. That jaw, though, you can still see it. Torchwood! They left her where? Just in the street. The street. They left her in the street. They took her face and just chucked her out and left her in the street. Who, Torchwood? Because now, Detective Inspector Bishop, there is no power on this earth that can stop me. Hey, let's go. You don't want to anger the doctor. But now you're left with me, Risa. So you'll behave yourself and smile. Why so serious? Maybe we could pop up and see her later. Maybe you could. It's a good idea. What do you think, Dad? Maybe <laughs> All he loves is grand, this one. <laughs> Proper little mummy's boy all round. Eddie, you want to beat that out of him? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Yeah, beat that out of him. What the places do you think you're doing? You want to help, Dad? Mr Connolly, shut your face, you. <laughs> Listen, you little twerp. <laughs> you little twerp. It matters what people think. How else would the police know where to look? Unless some coward told them. You think I fought a war just so a mouthy little scum like you? Could call me a coward! Don't get it, do you? You fought against fascism, remember? Yeah. You were fighting so that little twerps like me could do what we want, <laughs> say what we want, become just like them. You've been informing on everyone, haven't you? Even Gran. Is that true? I did it for us, Rita. She is filthy, a filthy, disgusting thing! She's my mother. Now there's you informed on all the people in our street, our friends. I had to. Wow, she's so soft-spoken. Look at the contrast between their tone. I think for us. Well, for you, Eddie. They need to remove that picture. It's pissing me off in the window. Like, it's <laughs> every time it's making me think like someone's looking out, uh, you know, through the window. What was all that for? That was the sound of something ending. And about time, too. Everyone all right? Smashing. <laughs> Spoil our big day, is it? Yeah. Smashing. Tommy, tell me about that night. She was just watching the telly. Who well, said it? She guessed it straight away. Of course she did. All these aerials in one little street. How come? Look up the road, Mr. Magpie. He's selling them cheap. Is he now? Come on! <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. Mel, we just did. <laughs> this is very much not right. Okay, well, that definitely isn't right. Help me. Grand. Grand. Rose. Oh, they can't see him? I want my friend restored. And I think that's beyond a little backstreet electrician. So tell me, who's really in charge here? You? I think that must be me. This one's smart as paint. Is she talking about? <laughs> smart as paint? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh my god, it's her, that woman off the telly. <laughs> I'm the wire. You look like a human to me. Pretty boy. <laughs> Is this what got my cran? Yes, Tommy. It feeds off the electrical activity of the brain, but it got Looks like he's in a school uniform, Tommy. What a clever thing you are. Mm -hmm. Kick off your shoes and enjoy the coronation. Mm, you can. You'll be glued to the screen. Or... Wait, does it work on the doctor then? Hungry. Hungry. Why is it not going for that man? Armed. He's armed and clever. Withdraw. With abort, abort. <laughs> the box, magpie. The box. Hold tight. Conduct me to my victory. 
Agpi Electronics. Electricals? Electrician? All right. Come on, off to Hungary we go. Magpie, you should feed her pie. Oh, so I didn't work on the doctor. I did work on everybody. Well, not everybody. I only worked on this guy. Tommy's all right. What are you going to do? I'm going shopping. <clears throat> Let's go. Shopping, mate. What do you want, dummy? Feed me. <laughs> feed me. Man, how much more do you want to eat, woman? Shouldn't you be at the coronation? Let's leave him your seat. <laughs> King of Belgium, apparently. King of Belgium. What about King of Hungary? It would have been funny if, you know, he was King of Hungary there. Or whatever of Hungary. I don't know what Hungary has. Imagine that, man. Imagine being Ellie. We're on, you know, nickname basis. Me and Queenie. <laughs> that much power and responsibility. And you've had enough, come on! No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well. Tommy's mom is really pretty, by the way. Feast. Feasting. Feasting and beasting. Can she? She tried already. Anyways. You cannot stop the wire. You promised me peace! And peace you shall have. It's gone. It's got peace. Eternal peace. Swarm Swarm <clears throat> oh dear. Has our little plan gone horribly wrong? That's what I'm saying. And the day has been saved. Lovely. The doctor saves the day one more, once again. And all these people are back. Okay. What about Magpie? Does he come back? Or is he gone? One of a mist. Doctor, what happened? Sorted. Electrical creature. TV technology. Never really in life form. That's me, by the way. <laughs> oh, look. God save the queen, eh? <laughs> The queen doesn't wave like this, she waves like this. <laughs> Why are these people running? Why are you running? What was that H for? On the wall, there she is! Oh, hold on. <laughs> this was never your house. It's in my mother's name. Leave. Her behalf, I'm telling you. Out. Bye. I thought that picture had like a thing that was closing in, but it's the shadow, the reflection. Speaking of reflections, man, I saw the camera crew in this one as well. <laughs> the reflection in the helmet. That thing, is it trapped for good on the video? Hmm. Just to be on the safe side, though, I'll use my unrivaled knowledge of transtemporal extirpation methods to neutralize the residual electronic pattern. You what? I'm going to type <laughs> over it. Good riddance. Well, I think you are being a bit harsh. New monarch, new age, new world. No room for a man like Eddie Connolly. That's right. He deserves it. Mm. He's your father, after all. What for? He's your dad. Yeah. He's an idiot. Of course he is. Like I said, he's your dad. <laughs> yeah. Real clever. Clever enough to save the world, so don't stop there. Go on. That was good, Rose. See what I mean? The little stuff that she does with her mouth and stuff, and that this dude too. It's great, I love it. <laughs> Alright.
righty then. So, that was a pretty good episode. Pretty fun. Interesting. Although I do... Anyways, if we, before I get into breaking this down, if you want to see the full-length reaction, that's available on Patreon, also the next episode, and perhaps even the one after that, and the one after that are also available on Patreon. But yeah, the next one for sure is available. And so yeah, you can see it right now. Patreon, check it out. Thank you, all my patrons and subscribers and YouTube members for supporting me all this time. Yeah, your support means a lot to me, man. So thank you. Really does. Now then, about the episode. Like I said, it was a fun episode. Pretty decent. I uh, love the fact that I recognize that boy in there. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. The YouTuber is in Doctor Who. Does he make an appearance again some other episode, or is it like a one-off thing? It might be a one-off thing. But anyways, yeah, even that is pretty cool. Like, imagine me being in this. Like, that's amazing. But yeah, um... Some pretty good lessons in this one. Uh, obviously, they were back in the time, so the mentality was a bit back in the time. And uh, I do like, though, I do like the fact that the Tommy was asked to go after the father at the end. Because, well, at the end of the day, he is your father. And also, I mean, if you're just going to abandon people like that, then they're never really going to be any better, are they? So it doesn't really lead to a solution. It seems like, yeah, you've solved this problem, but now you've got all these people who feel like they have been, you know, sort of mistreated by the world because they have given you a lot. You know, this guy, I mean, he said, I didn't go to the war just to have you talk back to that. So there's that. He did all of that. Now, that obviously doesn't mean that he should do what he was doing. But he wasn't entirely useless, so uh, I'm happy that, that happened. Um, there are ups and downs, you know, people fight, people have the differences, but you talk it out, work it out, solve it, and hopefully live a better, you know, prosperous, happy, peaceful future. Relatively happier and peacefuler <laughs> future, you know? Still never always be peaceful or happy, let's be honest. Ups and downs, always and forever until we all leave this world so yeah on that dark note <laughs> let's call it quits. no well yeah i've mentioned this before as well and i'll mention it again i like the new doctor's energy um and i like rose as well rose i i liked her from the get-go because she has that the new doctor's energy even in the past and so i liked her personality and just her in general from the very get-go but now the doctor is very similar to that as well and so i like it um not saying that i didn't like the other one i actually do kind of miss the other doctor because he was very cool as well but yeah these are very different personalities you know basically which is kind of surprising because it's supposed to be the same guy but anyways yeah I, another thing that i've noticed by the way and it's something that i think that some of you guys don't really like i don't really mind it personally because but then again that's me i don't really know much about doctor who i'm just i'm i'm new to it so i guess the classic doctor who fans are not very happy with it because i guess this is like something that is different from the classic doctor who i'm not entirely sure but this is just something that i'm noticing this dude is a bit more physically active with the ladies let me just put it that way yeah, I know. He seems like he's mastered what we call the horizontal mamba. You know? Do you know what I mean? Like, um, it was, I mean, there was Sarah Jane, right? And then there's this whole, uh, the, the other, the French lady, uh, episode. And so every episode, it seems like there's some sort of a connection or not every, but a couple of episodes seem like there was some sort of a connection. Now you guys did tell me that there was no connection with Sarah Jane, but that's not what I felt like throughout the episode. Throughout the episode, it felt like there was something. Now, there wasn't, but that's my point, is that this new Doctor seems like uh, the way he acts is a bit flirtatious. Is that a word? Well, it is now. A bit flirty, do you know what I mean? And I like it, you know? I, it's fun. It's, um, it's amusing, you know? So it's not a bad thing. Well, for me, at least. Uh, it might be for you, and I think it is for you guys, but yeah. So, yeah, there you go. That's something that I've noticed. The other doctor, you know, because someone did tell me that the doctor is not really interested in any of that, and the first doctor, or well, the, the one before him, 
was like that. He didn't come across as someone who was interested in the horizontal mamba, particularly with the humans. But this one seems like he is, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's just a little observation from me. Um, probably gonna make the classic Hoovians. That's a word that you guys, uh, or the, the fans of this show like to use for themselves. So yay, I guess I'm a Hoovian too now. Uh, or beginning to be. <laughs> um, but yeah. Pretty good so far, having fun. I hope you are too. If you are, do drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. Thank you, patrons. Thank you, YouTube members. And like I said, if you want to see the next episode, become a YouTube member or patron, and you will be able to do it. So check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...